Hi, this is a relatively short video where we once again use the first order Macaulay approximation to solve a sample exam problem. Soon, maybe the next video, I want to go back to doing longer, more conceptual problems where we focus on understanding, but I thought it would be good to get another sample exam problem in here. We'll be finding the modified duration of an annuity with the first order Macaulay approximation when we're given present values and interest rates. This is going to allow us to um, practice also using logarithms because the unknown is going to be in an exponent. And it's also going to illustrate something important. Even when you practice these things a lot, you can very easily make mistakes. And in fact, the first time I worked on solving this problem, I made a simple mistake, a common kind of mistake that led to the wrong answer. But that wrong answer was one of the options that was given on the sample exam. So they are thinking about common kinds of mistakes people make. and that can lead to the definite wrong answer on the exam. So you got to be really careful even when you practice these things a lot. Here is the problem. Graham is the beneficiary of an annuity due. It doesn't really matter that it's an annuity due. Uh, all we need to know are the interest rates and the uh, present values and the, well, we want to find a duration here. We need that first order Macaulay approximation. At an effective interest rate of 5%, the present value of the payments is 123000 and the modified duration is D mod. That's the thing we ultimately want to calculate at the end. Tyler, someone else, uses the first order Macaulay approximation to estimate the present value of Graham's annuity due at a different effective interest rate of 5.4%. Tyler estimates with that approximation the present value to be 121,212. Again, our goal is to calculate the modified duration of Graham's annuity at that 5% interest rate. So it's really just a matter of using the formula for the first order Macaulay approximation and solving it correctly and not making mistakes, not making silly mistakes like, like I made when I first solved this. Here is the first order Macaulay approximation, P of I, or P of I zero plus delta I, where I0 would be the starting interest rate, that would be the 5%, and I, which is I0 plus delta I, would be the new interest rate that Tyler thinks about, 5.4%, is approximately the price at the original interest rate, I0, times the fraction 1 plus I0 over 1 plus I raised to the power, that is the Macaulay duration, at interest rate I0. Okay, and that's why it's called the Macaulay approximation is because we use the Macaulay duration. Alternatively, you could use I0 plus delta I here in the notation, but it means the same thing. With this problem, the top of this fraction is going to be 1.05, I0 is 0 0.05, and the bottom is going to be 1.054 because that's uh, the interest rate that Tyler was thinking about. Okay, so now it's a matter of plugging the numbers in. And again, solving using your calculator correctly and not making the mistake that I made. What was that mistake that I made? Well, I started correctly. I plugged in 121,212 into the left-hand side. I plugged in the price at the 5% interest rate of 123,000 here. So that was fine. Then I plugged in 1.05 for 1 plus I0 and 1.054 for 5.4%. And then, here's where I made my mistake. Maybe you could guess the mistake that I made. I said, okay, I want the modified duration. I know this equation involves the Macaulay duration. I just need to put the modified duration in here and divide by 1 plus I0, 1.05. That's the wrong thing to do. Okay, I was getting mixed up in just thinking about this too quickly, about what the equation defining the modified duration really said. The modified duration at an arbitrary interest rate i is the Macaulay duration at that same arbitrary interest rate i divided by 1 plus i. Therefore, to find the Macaulay duration, you don't divide by it, the modified duration by 1 plus i. You multiply it by 1 plus i. And so, in the first order Macaulay approximation, I need to replace d mac of i0 by not the modified duration divided by 1.05, but instead the modified duration times 1.05. 1.05 times the modified duration. I'll just write dmod like I have up there, okay? Don't divide by 1.05, multiply by 1.05.
Okay, that will get you the right answer. So let's go ahead and solve it now. Maybe you want to pause the video and just solve it yourself. Uh, it's just a matter of now not making mistakes with your algebra and using logarithms and your calculator. I will first divide both sides by 121,000 or by 123,000. So I take 121 to 12 and divide by 123,000. I will go ahead and write these numbers down, but I will also store them in my calculator registers. This one I'll store in register one, store one. Now I will take the 1.05 divided by 1.054. That's this. I will go ahead and store that number in register 2. I need to raise it to the power that is 1.05 times this modified duration that I want to solve for. Store that in register 2. Now you need to take logarithms of both sides and use properties of logarithms. The log of this thing, 0 0.98546341, would be the log of the right-hand side, but by a property of logarithms, you can bring that power down in front, 1.05 times the modified duration times the natural log of 0.996201493. So solve for the modified duration by dividing everything by 1.05 and that logarithm right there. The answer symbolically is going to be natural log of 0.98546341 divided by 1.05 times the natural log of 0.9962049. Guess I didn't really need to store that in register 2 because I already have it there. I need to take its natural log, which gives you this. And now don't be scared by the fact that that's negative. That's supposed to happen. The log of a number between 0 and 1 is going to be negative, but you've got two numbers between 0 and 1 here. You're taking the log of both of them, you're going to get negatives in both spots, the negative signs will cancel. Multiplied by 1.05, and I will store this in register 0, say. That's stored in register 0 at the bottom of that fraction. Now recall the number from register 1, take its logarithm, that's the top of the fraction, divide by what's in register 0, and we will be done. Divide by recall 0, and you get about 3.67 for this modified duration. The units would be in units of time, which would be years in this case. And that is the correct answer. That is choice A on sample exam from 2017.